Hi guys, uh, this is Ali with my Nokia blog. Um, I'm just here again with the Nokia 808. It's a huge camera. Uh, I'm going to have to give this back in like less than 10 minutes, so this is going to be just a really quick look at the software on it, because a lot of people requested to take a look at the software that's running on this, which is currently Bell Feature Pack 1. It comes with like some UI customizations, and it seems to be a lot smoother, possibly written in more QML or QT, not sure exactly, or Qt, not sure exactly what's, what's in it but it seems to be a lot cooler. So this is just your home screen. You have up to six home screens. The widgets are, or hang on, first of all, before we start this, let's just take a look at the software version. And for the record, a lot of people were telling me to get some proper lighting in my videos, so I'm filming this outside for you all to be happy. So here we go. Phone and uh, phone management. Of course, before I show you anything, this is a prototype, prototype, prototype. Nothing is it final. A lot of it can change. A lot of it is going to be improved. The video stabilization is going to be improved. A lot of software nibbles are going to be improved. While having this phone, it crashed several times, but it's a prototype, like I said. Even I'll show you guys the boot screen right when I finish. When you start up, it tells you prototype, which actually makes me feel pretty badass having a prototype phone. So, device manager. You have Nokia Bell Feature Pack 1. Software version is 112.010, which, as we said, Nokia Bell was on on the n8 and other phones was 111 i believe so this is 112 right after it software version date is 2012 february 20th which is wow that's just like less than a week ago uh custom version custom version date language set product model is n100 so it doesn't even it's not even filled in as a proper model name type rm807 which is what we saw leaked before rm807 if anyone remembers on the blog we we mentioned that before browser version is 8.2 on the n8 with bell i believe it's 7.4 still flash version 4.0 still the same thing Dell version i'm not sure what's on the n8 but i believe it's the same i'm i didn't bother checking actually so um let's go back now you have your normal home screen setup in Bell. You have your normal widget layout, your normal drag down screen. Nothing has changed here. A lot of people are saying this changed. No, this is the same thing, except for the fact that it's a lot smoother. Even though this has the same camera as the, sorry, the same processor as the 700 and the other second gen, Bell, uh, third gen Bell devices, this is actually feels a lot smoother. I think it's because of the rewrite in QML or QT, possibly more components were changed. So it's a lot smoother, a lot faster to use. So let's just take a look at the widgets. New widgets, you have a BBC RSS feed in it directly. You have Vlingo, Vlingo, whatever it's called, which is tap to speak. Um, what can I say? Email, okay, but I don't have any contacts on the phone. As I said, I'm giving it back in a second, so I'm not gonna bother using this right now. You have your 3G toggles, you have your Wi-Fi toggle and sensor. You have the new mechanical clock, which we've seen. It was um, in, in the widget pack that was released for the N8. I think it was on Daily Mobile. We linked it on the website a, a couple day, a couple weeks ago. You have a new gallery widget, which actually changes every time you swipe back through it. So it's a lot like the um, Photos Live tile on Windows Phone. You have just your shortcuts. And... Um, the social version, I'll get to that in a bit. Maps, uh, the web browser, I'm not going to get into it, but it's a lot smoother. It feels nice. Um, normal normal email thing. And the weather widget, which you guys were saying had been removed, is actually back here again. I haven't tried the weather, actually. Uh, loading weather forecast. Hope it works. I couldn't update it. it. That's the same problem I was getting when I had the leaked wi weather widget on my N8, so I don't know, but it's the... The well, home screen widget itself is changing. I guess the app itself is broken. So once again, prototype, prototype, prototype. Don't forget. All right. So um, just take a look at the gallery widget. Selecting one will open. Instead of opening the gallery, it'll actually open the picture that you wanted. Like each one will open the picture. And notice how fast it is. This isn't this isn't your usual Symbian response. And you can add a custom picture if you want, like such as saving as a favorite. So. Let's just select any old picture. These are all the pictures I captured on the 808 already. I've been a very busy boy. So the coolest thing about it, I realize, is that um, we took these photos yesterday, which was February 27th, and today's the 28th. But if you look at it, just hang on a second, sorry. I'm going to go to the gallery. 
if some people are saying that the touches were off, that's actually because I'm looking through the any screen, so the angles are off, I'm touching in the wrong places. But the touch sensitivity is perfectly fine on it. The Just about the screen, it's a CBD AMOLED um, clear black display, amazing looks, really amazing looks. So the 4-inch screen is perfect. I mean, even with the NHD resolution, it really looks amazing. Um, all right, so see here we took these yesterday. We I just captured these a couple minutes ago when um, they were, we were in the Q and A right now at the hotel, and so these are February twenty eighth, and right here you have pictures taken March twelfth, first of March, captured on the eight hundred eight. These came preloaded onto the device, and you have March fourth to fifth. And just to show you guys, this is the. I just like I want to show this off. Okay, this is how the picture would look on the screen. Double tap. Double tap, zoom in some more. The quality of the pictures are seriously amazing. I think these are the same pictures that are on blog, but just looking at it, if you saw this, you'd think this was the original picture, and then you zoom out and you see that she's just a tiny speck on the picture. So uh, that's about it for the for this. Right now you have the other big change is the camera UI, of course, which won me 100 euros yesterday in the Get Smoked by Windows Phone contest. Um, but I think the camera UI crashed right now. I'm not sure. I've had uh, some issues with the camera UI.